Hello and thank you for joining Nine on Your Side for the holidays. I'm Shayla Reeves. And I'm Angie Casada. It's something about this time of year that just puts me in the best mood, whether it's the smells, the decor, the music, the food, everything. I just love it. And really when it comes to this time of year, we all have our favorite traditions, whether it's spending time with family or maybe you have a tradition that involves giving gifts or shopping, whatever it is. It's what makes this time of year so special. And we even have traditions too with the oh, WNCT yeah. family. If you yeah. go in some of the stores this time of year, they have so many options. That's really cute. It's Different to, themes. Yes, and it's hard yeah. to settle on one. And you would go broke trying to create them all. <laughs> It was me, I would put like basketball ornaments and ballet slippers and like the most out of whack maybe popcorn strings. What can we learn about you through your Christmas tree? Oh man, I'm starting to become a lot like my mom. I wanted to decorate it so it could actually like go with my apartment decor. The turquoise and the blush pink and the gold. I'm turning into my mother. To find out how some of our co workers are transforming their spaces at home for the holidays. In the newsroom, Aaron Dean, on your side. You blend it together, looks good, tastes good, all that stuff. Food is something that, that really touches people. If you really put your all into it, people can feel it, they can taste it, and they enjoy it, and that gives you something to bond over. Whether it's the mac and cheese, the collard greens. Mm -hmm. People come together because of food. People separate because of food, because some, some of y'all's cousins and aunties can't cook, okay? What I like the most is making desserts. It's pound cake season, y'all. It is prime pound cake season. It's gonna be delicious. <laughs> My birthday is actually Christmas Eve, so Christmas for me is just spending time with my family, spending time with my loved ones. I love a real tree, but in my little apartment, I do have an artificial tree. It's quite small, it's a little Charlie Brown tree, but it gets the job done. It was actually my grandmother's tree, so it is quite special. I love the rustic kind of colors. I love like the woodsy and the um, southern chic, I guess you could call it. I also have some other decorations too, which my little kitty cat loves to play with. <laughs> My cats destroy our Christmas tree every year, so I don't get to keep one up that looks pretty. I like to kind of jump up at it, um, definitely walk around the base and knock it over that way. Um, yeah, they definitely are a whirlwind around the apartment. The loser of the game Sunday falls out of the top right? I don't know. You guys are both going to be Wow, it depends on how bad they lose. Carolina, they're it was down. brutal. I always had a good time at Christmas. I think it's for the kids, but some of us are kids at heart forever, and that's I'm kind of like that. Battle of top 20 teams in second rank Duke, providing tonight's opposition. It started years ago, and I used to collect ornaments each and every year. Lots of them are Dallas Cowboy ornaments, because that's my favorite team. I've got Chicago Cub ornaments. I've got a peach from the Peach Bowl year in 1991 for East Carolina. I've got pirate ornaments. Lonnie Chisinau was a big part of getting that thing done. Back with sports after this. It's going to be blustery along the North Carolina coast early tomorrow morning. So I grew up with a, a real tree, and I, I do like the way they smell. Um, we, through the years, my wife and I have just started adding more and more to the Christmas decorations. Of course, our son helps out now, too. So we've kind of split the difference here. Do we, we do the live? Do we do the artificial? We decided to do both. So we get uh, a live tree for one room, and then we'll do artificial trees in, in other rooms, and we'll do trees of all kinds of different sizes. We do a lot inside and out. And a lot of temptation is in our house this time of year. Every time you walk by, you want to grab a bite of something to eat. She loves to, uh, to make fudge. She makes all kinds of different flavors. And yes, well, we'll bring the samples to the station and let everybody try it out. So she has a, she has a lot of fun. <laughs> Melts in your mouth, it's so good. Oh, it's legendary. legendary. Anytime he brings some extra for us, we love it. The 2020 campaign has kicked off across our state. It's something. No, I just said all the rest of it. A lot of the ornaments are from my childhood, and my parents upgraded as I got older, but I held on to some of those ornaments, so it's kind of cool to put those up each year. It does not matter what kind of day I have. I know when I come home, it'll just be holiday bliss, like a big warm hug. 
right when I get home, I light my candles, my mistletoe candles and my cinnamon candles. I turn on the lights on my Christmas tree. I have two trees currently in my house, a little tiny one and a big one. And I just sit and enjoy it. And it just feels so warm and relaxing and inviting. I love it. Well, my favorite thing about this time of year is spending time with my family. We always do a lot of things together like decorating Christmas cookies. We always watch a Christmas story. So that's always really fun. My grandma actually already made some cookies and she froze them and made some icing and I'm going home this weekend and even though we won't be able to decorate at home, she's sending them back with me so that way I can go and decorate cookies here in Greenville and still have that piece of my family in Concord with me. One, like the WNC thing. I would do it now. When you go home, it's cold outside, you walk in, you get that cinnamon scent and you just feel like you're in a winter wonderland. I love decorating. It's definitely the number one thing next to food with the holidays. Cooking, baking, sweet, salty, all of it, and I love all of it. Anything pumpkin, a pumpkin muffins, pumpkin bread, pumpkin cake. I know that they say that that should end in October, but I take it all the way through December. And then, what do I do for fun with the scripts? So when I am decorating around my house, it's cool because I kind of have a combination of holidays. So I'll have a little tiny Christmas tree and then I also have a little menorah. So I really like to just, you know, have little things here and there. And, you know, my mom always had really cool different kinds of menorahs all around the house. So, you know, it just reminds me of home. West Carteret standout Susan Hall giving back to the school. Our Nola Knight, he's standing by with more on the festivities tonight. Nola. Having a Christmas tree makes it feel more homey and makes it feel like more like my place and, and not some apartment that I'm renting. My mom's obsessed with Santa Claus. She's really easy to shop for every year. You just get her a new Santa Claus. She loves them. Uh, they, they go from little teeny ones to, to really big ones. And, and so uh, Christmas is always big. I remember growing up, we would uh, we had a chain for the countdown. You know, one, two, three, four, all the way to 25. And there was a different thing written on the chain. So as a kid, it was so exciting to wake up that day, open the chain, and see what you were going to do. Hey, Ken, Shayla, well, the boats have begun lining up. Creating a little bit of home away from home is probably what I most look forward to. That is the best part, walking into like my home with the Christmas lights, the trees, the presents that I'll be able to give to like my friends and family. That's probably the best part. I think the best part of Christmas is just seeing the faces of the people that I'm going to give the presents to. I love Christmas. I absolutely, it's my favorite time of the year. It's my favorite holiday ever in life. And I just really enjoy just the atmosphere. I love that people are so much kinder to each other. I love that there's so much love to go around. I love the love and the kindness that goes on around. My favorite thing about this time of year is seeing all the Christmas decorations downtown and around town in general, driving around, seeing Christmas lights. It really just makes me happy and puts me in the holiday spirit. I love string lights in my apartment. I actually have them up all year long, but especially at Christmas time with all the other decorations, it just makes my heart really happy to go home. It's nice and cozy feeling after a long, cold day um, to go in and just see all that makes me really happy. I keep it basic, but I make it so that you notice it. You'll find three Christmas trees, one tabletop, then you find little two miniature tabletop ones, um, some Christmas lanterns, some garland, um, some little reindeer, penguins and polar bears. It lifts my mood when the house is clean and it's decorated. <laughs> my favorite thing about this time of year is getting together with family and friends and just reuniting with loved ones that you don't get to see often. My mom, she's very creative. Um, she makes her Christmas tree and she's very big on Christmas. So, of course on Christmas Eve, everybody opens that one gift. Well, my mom was the one that made us open a specific gift and it would be um, pajamas, like matching pajamas for me and my sister and my brother. And we would put on our pajamas and drink hot cocoa, watch Christmas movies, and you know, the night before Christmas actually comes. So that's my fondest memory. What I enjoy most about this time of year is my mom and I always decorate the Christmas tree together. It's something that we've done since I was little, but now that I'm an adult, I do it myself. Um, and so I was able to put my tree up this year, and it was my first big tree, so that was something pretty big for me. I love Rose Girls. 
my mom usually is like the mind master behind this because she is trying to make new stuff for Christmas so I do the same thing in Puerto Rico they give like a lot of flags so I was like you know what I'm gonna add that to the tree and it looks really good in Puerto Rico uh, we like to celebrate big and we don't only celebrate the 25th we also celebrate Three Kings Day which is in January 6th so uh, we have the longest Christmas ever so I make sure my house <laughs> is like decorated through February basically so my most favorite thing about this time of year is spending time with my family and enjoying all of the love and laughter that we have together. Um, our theme this year was gold. So my mom has her macaroon ornament because she loves macaroons. I have like a Marilyn Monroe ornament on there. Definitely spread out across the coast. So we definitely take it serious when this time of the year comes around because those of us who are in Greenville were able to spend time together. I come from an Italian family and a Catholic family, so going to church, come down, having dinner, and spending time together with family and friends is, is very big and my, my favorite tradition of Christmas. The whole year you go through all these you know, tough times, good or bad, and then you're together with family on Christmas and spending time together giving, showing that you really love each other and that there are people there who do care for you. And I think it's really you know, poetic that it's at the very end of the year, so we're all getting together and really just spend the last time, especially like the whole holiday season up until Christmas to New Year's is what really, really special to me. It's always good to just be on the lookout for people that you can help and give some holiday cheer and bring someone to smile this time of year. Christmas means the world to kids and I'm just happy that I could be a part of her Christmas. It's inspiring to be able to help someone else out. Your, your favorite time of the year should be any time of the year that you're happy. And that's the reason why Christmas is said with Mary, because you should be merry year-round. Obviously, the gifts are great as well. Santa! But it's not about that. It's more about, I think, everybody coming together and celebrating what's important in life. So, like, it's the holiday season. And um, what brings us together? Think about the people that are around me and sharing good moments with them, you know, and having a good laugh and, um, and just thinking about, like, the year and, and how we're going to make it better for the next year round. It was so awesome seeing all of that creativity and it's crazy how much we can learn from each other just by how we decorate. And our personalities really shine and how we target our personal spaces. Oh yeah. That's something you and I had a chance to experience firsthand. Absolutely. We had the chance to redecorate our space and I had so much fun even decorating the newsroom. We're actually going to show you behind the scenes right after the break. When Nani your side for the holidays returns. Hello and welcome back to Nine on Your Side for the Holidays. I'm Angie Casada. And I'm Shayla Reeves. Every year, communities across the East start decorating for the holidays. Oh yeah, you can't go down a road without seeing a little bit of red or green, and I absolutely love it. And of course, our reporters are covering news in communities just like this. So we decided to bring a little bit of the magic back to our space. Oh yeah, Shayla and I got to work. There we go. Wonderful. Your antlers, friend. <laughs> One, two, three. Ready for a parade? The holidays are here. Yeah. I think we're ready for it. <laughs> you will get left behind. You will get left behind. So don't have a car in that at all times. Is this a parade or a 5K? I know. We're totally in spirit right now. Can I pull it off or should I go Santa? I, I would go Santa. Santa. I feel like a mix of Santa and Whoville. Tis the season to be jolly. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Last year, we decided to bring a little jolliness to WNCT. We don't have any windows in there. Everyone has the same desk. Originally, they thought we were just going to do the tree and, and leave it at that, <laughs> but we like to be a little extra. Exactly. That's just our personality. <laughs> yeah. Went to the dollar store, loaded up on oh, yeah. some holiday goodies. Absolutely. We were like Santa's elves. Yeah. We have the late shows, so we did it when no one was there. We did the tree, we had a bunch of garland, extra lights, so we went to work. 
Our sales and marketing, they kind of gave us whatever they had as far as decorations. So we try to jazz it up as much as we could. You see that tape? Yeah, coming into work. <laughs> um, we decided to put lights around the big sign. And we had some help as well. This is the most frustrating <laughs> thing ever. Well, Sam, yeah. one of our editors. Okay, here it is. I don't know if you can see it. You have there. The for that thing. Yes, and I don't have that creative meals. So you have to like, I'm horrible at this. Anybody else want to help? You're going to have to fast forward that video because it's going to take forever. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you putting her through that, Shayla? You know, she's she's going to have nightmares. <laughs> All we did was a little decorating. A little bit, so we had to do it. It was yes. it was perfect. A must do. Boom. Just like that. Definitely one of my favorite projects. Oh yeah, absolutely. Everyone that walked into the newsroom, you could just see their faces lighting up. It was so awesome. And when you talk about the newsroom, you don't just get that reaction with decorations. Oh yeah. You get it with treats too. Absolutely. We're going to show you some of those treats coming up after the break. You're watching Night on Your Side for the holidays. This time of year can come with a lot of surprises. Especially when Jerry Jackson's wife <sighs> makes that amazing fudge. It's absolutely <laughs> my favorite. People from all over the building are always racing just for a piece. And when it comes to food, it really comes and goes in our newsroom, especially the sweets. There's so many options. Holidays are one of my favorite times of year. Absolutely love all this sparkle. You can always find so much glittery goodness. The ornaments, the decorations. So I think I found the perfect little bit of sparkle to add to my display. What do you think of this? Isn't that adorable? And you can't beat all of the sweet treats. I love them. Coworkers love them. Oh, you can't even hold and grab something. Last year, I decided to make a holiday candy station. If you're anything like me, I love a little bit of sparkle. Are these not the cutest? I decided to learn how to make a fabric garland. Strung my rope all the way across the kitchen. Took all of these strips of fabric, cut them up, cut up the ribbon, tying each one, one by one, to the rope to create this piece. I used an old candle stand and a piece of wood to create a display stand and I was able to transform those canvases into a mixed media holiday treat sign. It's a great way to jazz up your conference room. Ooh. Look how gorgeous. Well, I want it all, but I'll just get a candy cane. makes me want a little bit of candy now. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. One thing I just love about our newsroom is that we really are like family. We really spend so much time together, whether it's the newsroom or in the community. You also see us in your homes. I hope you enjoyed just spending a little bit of your holiday with the Nine on Your Side family. From our family to yours, happy holidays.